Hey folks, Sam Space 81, Sam here. Just thought I'd give you guys a tour of my little 72 240Z that I bought a couple of years ago and finally getting around to restoring it. I was working on it for quite a while and just got busy with life, got married and had a baby, so it's time to get back on it. Here she is. It's a 1972 240. I bought it in Dallas. It's a Dallas car. It's the original flame orange car. They repainted it red back in the early 90s. Didn't do a very good job of it. It's a numbers matching car. It's got the original 2.4 liter 165 horse engine. Check out this little Clifford carburetor or Clifford intake. The Holly four barrel on it. Actually, I rebuilt that carb and it, it runs pretty strong with it. I did get the thing running. I've got the original twin carbs and the intake and the what am I trying to say? The, the fuel line. I've got a lot of the original stuff that I'm going to go back original. There's the engine plate down there got all the dirt off of it and I found the matching number on the block so it's really a solid old car still got its bumpers so I'm gonna pull all the bumpers off of it and have them re-chrome I'm gonna get new bumper pads you can still find that stuff in OS for now I pulled all of the front suspension out of this car and I rebuilt it everything. Pulled all the A-frames apart, dropped the subframe. The first thing I did to it, then I started messing with the brakes. I put a new booster, master on it, new calipers. I still need to do the back brakes. Let's see the original color where I pulled the tag off. Somebody got happy with a rattle can and went black all under the hood. Of course that's got to go. There's the original color tag I yanked off the other day. This is where your numbers are if you're looking for matching numbers on a Z car. See where it says L24. And there's the VIN. You can probably even read that. Partial VIN. Matches up with the plate. I was showing you earlier. Let's look inside it. Oh, I scored these original hubcaps. Gotta have them. Put new tires all the way around it. Have a look. I got an original steering wheel for it. I got original radio. The dash only has two cracks. It's the original dash. So I'm going to have it repaired. My dad, he's the owner of Street Machines Auto Sales and he's pretty adept at that kind of thing. So I'm going to let him handle the dash. At least the repair on it. <clears throat> original floor pans. Check it out. Solid, baby. No illusions there. So proud of that. Jams look good. It was let's see, built in 872. Series 2 car. It's original seats with some funky aftermarket covers. Of course, I'm going to go back original. Check this old book out. This book was wrote in 72, and it's the best damn restoration book that I've come across. There's my car. Of course, I had white interior originally, I learned, so I'm going to go back white. This is a great book. Very thorough, easy to understand. If you can find it, buy it. It's an eBay score. It's an automatic car with factory air, or dealer add on air. When it was new, that's pretty cool. And it does work. Actually, the compressor kicks on. The car's got. 112,000 miles. So it's showing 12,000. It's real solid. Look under the dash. See if you can get a good view. Like all the insulation's intact. The wiring and everything. I don't think the car's ever been hit from what I can tell. It's the original fenders on it. The doors fit real good on it. 
the hatch. Let's have a look back here. Not a whole lot to see back here. Bunch of parts. It's a real solid old car. I got a little bit of cancer right here. I'm gonna have to cut out, repair that right this area. Not too bad though, I mean, look at the old rubber. Original old rubber. It's all solid through the rails. It's all solid there. You can see a lot of the original paint. The pan's excellent. See, it used to be a white car. I pulled the black carpet off, and lo and behold, so I gotta go back original. There's the old bumper. Looks like it used to have a, a, a bumper override bar at some time. Yeah, here it is. One of those Amco aftermarket bars. So I'm gonna go back with one of those. Replace all the grommets and seals. I'm gonna replace all of the, the glass seals. Actually, all the glass in this car is real good. It's got the original windshield too. I did clean it up at one time, the glass. But there you have it. Thought you guys wanted to look at my Z. And there's the air compressor. And I'll do some more updates on it today. I kind of half-ass pushed it out of the garage here. And it will start and run, but the battery's dead. And we don't have a jumper box around here, so I had to muscle it. I'm going to get this motor out of here and have it rebuilt. It's smoking. So I'm going to pull all this intake and exhaust off of it. I'm going to pull the head off of it. I'm gonna get the block pulled out of it, drop the crank pistons, have the block magna flux cleaned. I might bore it 20 over, put new pistons in it. This motor's never been rebuilt, so I'm, I'm almost certain it's gonna have standard pistons in it. So that's kind of good. But I'll bore it 20 over, have it balanced, blueprinted, all that good stuff. And she'll make a car again. Check this out. I don't know why this Velcro, I wonder what they, what was going on there. Anyways, hope you guys like my Z. Later.